Hi, it's Katrina. From a real-life spaghetti monster to a vampire squid, prepare to feast your eyes on the most frightening fish and creepiest sea creatures in the world. Number 10. The Black Dragonfish I bet you had no idea there are real-life dragons swimming around below the ocean waiting to bite your leg off, but it's true! though they aren't really waiting to bite your leg off. Your chances of running into a black dragonfish are pretty low to almost none, but if you ever did, I guarantee this freaky fish would scare the swimming trunks straight off you. This thing is creepy. Black dragonfish are dark black to blend in with the deep dark waters it is found in. They can be found from about 700 to 3,300 feet deep, but will also follow their prey to the surface if necessary. This deep-sea predator has evolved to blend in with the darkness around it, and they have special rows of light cells called photophores along with a light organ on its barbel that hangs down from its chin to attract prey towards its mouth. They have enormous transparent teeth to make them invisible to prey. Some species' teeth are made up of nanoscale-sized particle crystals, making their teeth possibly stronger than fierce fish predators. Scientists are excited to study their teeth to make synthetic, strong, and transparent materials. Adults of some species can grow to be roughly two feet in length. This may not seem very large to you, but imagine a two-foot black dragon with a reddish face and yolk-white eyes swimming at you like an electric eel intent on swallowing you whole. Kind of scary if you're an itty-bitty fish. Number 9. Vampire Squid The vampire squid has gotten a little bit of a bad rap. Its scientific name, Vampyrotethius infernalis, means the vampire squid from hell. With a name like that, it sounds pretty scary. Is it going to come and suck your blood? Nope, it just looks that way. When it gets angry or disturbed, the vampire squid puffs itself out, stretching so that it appears to be wearing Count Dracula's red cape due to the webbing between its tentacles. It very much looks like an underwater vampire. However, the vampire squid does not drink blood and it does not even squirt ink. Because the vampire squid lives so deep underwater in places with virtually no sunlight, it shoots twinkling light rather than ink, therefore confusing the other predators who live in the darkness of the ocean. Found at depths of between 1,000 to 3,000 feet, they actually don't seem to eat very much, feeding on drifting particles known as marine snow, as well as copepods and shrimp. It is very difficult to believe, but mark my words, it is true. A squid in a vampire cape living in the darkness of the ocean shooting twinkling light cloud particles that last up to nine minutes. This colorless substance contains bioluminescent particles that sparkle in the darkness, looking like twinkling crystal lights. Still, it's pretty cool, right? And definitely creepy. Number 8. Monkfish You may have actually eaten this fish without knowing it. Also known as an anglerfish, this poor fish is ugly, but tasty. This creepy fish lives at the bottom of the ocean in the sand and can tolerate a wide range of temperatures and depths, from shallow shores to 3,000 feet deep. They can kind of swim, but will also use the sturdy base of their pectoral fins to walk along the bottom. Its main goal is to blend in with the ocean floor, trying to attract prey with the makeshift fishing line that dangles over its head, which is how it got nicknamed the anglerfish. It's an ambush predator, and when prey gets distracted, they will swallow it whole in one large gulp. Surprisingly enough, this creepy and slimy, and dare I say horrendously ugly fish, is an extremely popular meal. The monkfish has been called the poor man's lobster. People love grilling and baking the monkfish, turning it from a freakish sea creature into a delicious dinner. Apparently, the monkfish is a great source of vitamin B6 and vitamin B12. Who knew that such a slimy, gross thing could be full of so much healthy goodness? Adult fish will eat just about anything that fits in their mouth, from mollusks, fish, to each other, to birds. They don't care. How does a bottom dweller eat birds? Remains of 14 small puffin species were found inside the stomachs of 14 monkfish caught near Massachusetts. Apparently, when the fish migrate, they swim vertically and move to the surface to spawn and use the currents bringing the birds and fish together. And of course, the fish will not miss this opportunity. Bird doesn't even know what hit it. Have you ever eaten any of these creatures? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! Number 7. Spaghetti Monster I'm undecided about this sea creature. I can't tell if it's creepy, disturbing, or just plain weird. All I know is that the spaghetti monster literally looks like a giant bowl of spaghetti that was turned over in the water. One look at it makes you think of the cult religion that took the internet by storm with their devotion to one such deity. The two certainly resemble one another. 
This version of the flying spaghetti monster hovers through the water like a mass of overcooked spaghetti on the hunt for some meatballs. Not really a fish, not quite a jellyfish, the spaghetti monster is actually something known as a siphonophore. It is closely related to jellyfish and corals, which are colonial animals. The spaghetti monster is made up of different multicellular organisms called zooids, all attached in a weird jumble to create a boggling complex organism. In this case, the spaghetti monster was identified by scientists as Bathyphysa conifer. Workers for BP off the coast of Angola saw this creature while recording 4,000 feet deep. One zooid starts the process and others start to grow off the original, and each one has a job to do. Some catch food, some reproduce, and some don't do anything at all, but they all survive together. This particular species is pretty rare, and it is very hard to observe them in their natural habitat. Unlike other siphonophores, they don't really have a body part capable of propelling them through the water. But what do you think? Would you rather meet the creepy-looking spaghetti monster with its dozens of tentacles, or face off against something else, like a monkfish? At least you know what that is, but this floating blob of wormy appendages and sea slime would creep me out, especially if I ran into it while at the beach. Good news is, it doesn't sting or bite. Number 6. The Giant Isopod The giant isopod is so creepy that some people think it's cute, like a little alien. In fact, the giant isopod looks suspiciously like a certain prehistoric Pokemon. With its big eyes, cool pink shell, and little wriggling legs, the giant isopod is a big creepy crawly reaching up to two and a half feet long. The giant isopod is the biggest member of the isopod family, and while the giant isopod is not commercially fished in large numbers, it is still cooked in many places, especially in Taiwan, where they are easier to catch. They spend most of their time scavenging the floor at the bottom of the ocean, minding their own business, snacking on dead whales and squids. But giant isopods can go for long periods without food, and have survived for up to four years in captivity without eating. Giant isopods are harmless to humans. In fact, we are much more threatening to them than they are to us, as the creatures are increasingly getting caught by deep-sea trawlers and ingesting plastic garbage, which has negatively impacted their populations. Number 5. Goblin Shark There is no sea creature roaming the ocean today that is more infamously creepy than the ancient goblin shark. It's the only surviving relative of a 125-million-year-old lineage. From the goblin shark's thin, claw-like teeth to its weird elongated mouth and what looks like a flattened horn on the top of its goblin head, this thing is unnerving to say the least, hence its name Goblin. They weren't known for being pretty. While they were discovered in the 19th century, goblin sharks are incredibly rare and prefer to confine themselves to the ocean's lower depths, not the public eye. In fact, when one was brought to an aquarium in Japan a few years ago, it died soon after. Goblin sharks live extremely deep underwater, roughly 4,265 feet. But what is incredibly astonishing about the goblin shark is the way it eats. When catching something in its mouth, the goblin shark extends its jaws like the xenomorph from the Alien movies. It's terrifying! This shark has the fastest bite of any other shark, and undoubtedly the creepiest. Just look at the goblin shark's photos. It is an absolute nightmare of the deep. Number 4. Fangtooth fish. Fangtooth fish may be one of the creepiest fish ever, but at least they only grow 7 inches long. Fangtooth also live quite deep in the sea, away from human toes and fingers that it might otherwise want to bite off. The fangtooth resides as far as 16,400 feet beneath the sea. And now that I have assured you of your safety, let's talk about how truly weird the fangtooth fish is. And of course, creepy. As a biologist said, Consider the fangtooth fish the underwater equivalent of a supposedly menacing pit bull with a heart of gold. It almost looks like a piranha was possessed by a demon and then wouldn't let the demon leave. The fangtooth has dark skin that appears a weird translucent red. It has giant teeth in the front of its mouth that look like they could ruin any poor sucker's day. And strangely enough, despite its threatening appearance, the fangtooth is incredibly benign, especially since its poor eyesight means that if the fangtooth wants to make like a predator and hunt, it quite literally has to bump into its prey in order to find it. It survives using its sense of smell and subtle shifts in sunlight, meaning that when it feels a shadow pass over it, the fangtooth fish bites. Fun fact, the fangtooth has the largest teeth of any fish in the ocean relative to its actual size. Number 3. Barrel Eye Fish More than a fish, this looks more like some sort of robotic submarine, somehow mixed with a dolphin and a jellyfish. I don't know, it doesn't look real. The Barrel Eye Fish has the strangest human-like eyes and a completely transparent head, with two glowing green marbles inside of it that almost look like two separate brains. This thing is really bizarre. 
As its name would suggest, the Pacific barrel eye fish lives in the North Pacific, at depths of around 600 to 800 meters, and can be easily recognized by its transparent head. Researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium discovered that the eyes could rotate in a transparent shield that covered the fish's head. They used video from ROVs to study barrel eyes in the deep waters off California and were able to bring one to the surface for a few hours. This transparent dome is filled with fluid, and inside you can see the lenses of its eyes, which have developed in a unique way that let them rotate between facing forward or directly upward. They spend most of their time completely motionless, with their barrel eyes staring upward in search of prey. The large and flat fins allow them to remain virtually motionless in the water, and it's thought that the green pigment in their eyes has developed to help filter out the direct sunlight that beams down from the surface. Number 2. The Sarcastic Fringe Head First of all, nothing that lives in a hole, a hollow, a crevice, or a fissure is going to look anything less than creepy. But this sarcastic fringe head lives in the cracks and hollows of reefs like a troll fish with a bad attitude. This tough fish is very aggressive and territorial. The sarcastic fringe head is aggressively ugly. This raging little sea monster has a massive mouth that it opens wide to envelop fish and gobble them up whole. No chewing, not even a little nibble, just straight down the gullet and into the belly. The fringe head has even been reported eating octopuses in one gulp. If you think this yellow-brown, dirty mud-colored fish is scary on its own, wait until it opens its huge maw and you see its tiny bent teeth and purple throat. When two of these fish have a territorial battle, they proceed to press mouths against each other, which makes it look like they're kissing. But it's actually quite the opposite. They are actually measuring their mouths, deciding whose is bigger and who is better. This is one fish you don't want to tangle with. Besides being cranky, they are not afraid to charge at anything, not even a diver, and you may or may not lose a finger. Number 1. Northern Stargazer While its name sounds kind of nice, the Northern Stargazer is known for looking straight up as it lies in wait, hiding on the ocean floor. It's kind of like the thing from the swamp. It has lifeless, beady eyes and what appears to be triangular eyebrows. It lays hidden under the sand, perfectly camouflaged, and then when an unsuspecting little fish swims by, it will create a vacuum to suck its prey in. With the use of its efficient side fins, it can bury itself in a matter of seconds. When it senses food is near, it sometimes uses a sudden burst of electricity to stun its prey. It is also a very good defense mechanism. Curious divers that have gotten too close have gotten quite the surprise. The main thing you have to watch out for, though, are its venomous spines. Stargazers are venomous and can jab you in the foot. If you do get stung, place the affected area in super hot water and clean the wound with soap and water. There is no anti-venom for stargazer stings. Thanks for watching! Which of these disturbingly ugly fish creeped you out the most? Let me know in the comments below and remember to subscribe if you haven't already! See you in the next video! Bye!